what happens when you put eight VTubers in the same room with the master of sense Inyanto and Nuxtaku. You might not know this, but recently Nuxtaku hosted a game show with this guy and a bunch of VTubers, and I was invited! The game show consisted of eight VTubers and we all had to bully Evian- Eh, eh, who? Eviento, Evan. I'm just gonna call him Evan. We all had to bully Evan! Except this time, instead of him simping to VTubers, we made him react to clips of other people simping to 2D women. So, how did they end up here? It was a typical Wednesday morning and I was doing what I usually do on Wednesday. When suddenly, I got a notification on my phone and it was from Twitter. It was a DM and I never get DMs. So I slide my phone up and I read the name Nux and the message... You were around for a collab tonight at midnight EST, cat face. I stared at my screen for a few seconds, but my eyes are half open because my phone's brightness was up 100% so I could barely make out half the words. So I threw my phone and went back to bed. Then it hit me. It was THE Nux Taku, the Super Saiyan of cancellation, the king of controversy, the... Uh, I don't know, he's basically a, a well-known YouTuber in the anime and VTubing community. And when I did respond, I said, I'd be down. That's about 9pm PST for me. Is it a game or a talk show? <laughs> and of course, he responded 10 seconds after my reply, saying, Game show with a bunch of VTubers. As prep work for the collab tonight, everyone's prepping three clips or memes or TikToks or whatever of extreme simpery. Chat face. It shouldn't take longer than an hour. So I entered the Discord and immediately, I recognized my fellow VTubers in this competition. We had L, Fox Plushy, Bat and Neko, Sunshine, Cottontail, Cinder, and Tricky. Who would have known I would be competing with such cuties? <laughs> and then it began. My notifs started to blow up immediately. I'm talking emotes being spammed, compliments being thrown into the mix. Everyone literally started simping for each other. I was so overwhelmed from all the DMs, but everyone was being so nice and friendly to me that I started to feel more confident and I joined them in this unholy ritual. After becoming more acquainted with everyone, it was time to start preparing for the actual collab. I wasn't sure what to expect, so I dug through a bunch of my clips and memes that I thought would be good to use. I even made a really, and I mean really, bad song parody. Just in case if this ended up being some kind of talent show. I was also a little nervous because I don't ever really collab with other people and I wanted to make some sort of impression. I honestly felt prepared for whatever was going to be thrown at me anyways. So everyone started joining the voice call and at this point none of us knew what Nux was actually planning. And then when Evan joined, Nux kicked him out because no boys were allowed just yet and he had to explain the rest of us what the rules of the game show were. As it turns out, it was a game show of extreme simping and all of us VTubers had to find clips and memes of people simping or someone who is incredibly simpable. This is because Nux had evidence of Evan constantly simping and thirsting on Twitter. So, he wanted to make a game show to see what it takes to out-simp him. The game would consist of three rounds where someone would get eliminated each time until there was one VTuber left standing. This VTuber would be the one that Evan deemed the most simpable. So, remember earlier when I said I was prepared for every possible scenario? Well, I wasn't prepared for this! And of course, I was taking longer than the rest of the girls, so the game started and VTubers were getting knocked out left and right the first round. And my turn was coming up, and I still didn't know what to use for a submission. I honestly was almost at a loss until I remembered. I have this one unique YouTube list of cursed videos. Look, I didn't choose the cursed lifestyle. <laughs> it chose me. <laughs> and just like that, I made to the second round. Yay! I was so excited that I moved forward. Then when round two came, I knocked it out of the park with another cringe video. It felt really good watching my enemy, I mean, my competition getting knocked out every round. I felt unstoppable. <laughs> I had made it all the way to the final round. It was me versus Tricky. I was still feeling pretty confident because my submissions have all been bangers. But my ego almost costed me the game. Because I wasn't expecting Tricky to submit a video that was both equally cringe and simpery like mine. 
Evan was struggling at this point and I wasn't sure if it was because he was losing brain cells after watching these videos for over an hour or if our submissions were just too difficult to choose. So I proposed an idea. Let's do a tiebreaker and submit a fourth clip. Everyone agreed and I knew what I had to do. My ace in the hole. This was my one and only clip. Unblock me. I'm sorry I tagged you in a spoken word mumble rap about sacrificing you to the devil. I felt at this point my victory was secured. But mistake, it still wasn't because Evan's response was, Are you a Sonic fan? Oh no. Oh no. I didn't realize getting exposed like this would actually make me lose. I started spiraling into panic mode. And I started thinking about all the other reasons why I might lose. Compared to everyone else, I'm not a degen. I'm just a stinky cat girl that causes everyone trouble. Why would Evan choose me over Tricky? She's so gorgeous and has big booba with amazing boing boing physics. And I saw his tweets. He's shown a lot of thirst during this collab. I almost wanted to raise the white flag and surrender. Until it dawned on me. Something that I had forgotten to mention early on in this video is that while Nux was roasting Evan's tweets, Nux had mentioned that Evan has a soft spot for cat girls and that's why there were two cat girls in this collab. However, Bad and Neko had gotten knocked out early on, but there was still me. Which implies that I had one trick left up in my sleeve, myself. I can't believe I didn't think of this sooner. I had charm, anime class, and catgirl sass. In order to win the game and sway Evan over to the Yume side was very simple. I just had to nya. Huh? Yeah, that's right. I had to do it myself. And nya, 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 nya. I nyawed right into everyone's doki doki and Evan couldn't resist my charm and declared me as the winner. That's right, Mariyume, the most simple, amazing, awesome, cringiest, sussiest VTuber ever. And what did I win, you might be asking? Well, I won a Nuxtaku t-shirt, a new group of VTubers to hang out and talk with and maybe potentially collab in the future, and sending me a DM on Twitter. And that's how I won the next Taku Game Show. Okay, bye! But I'm not done yet! Thank you so much everybody for watching this video. I had a lot of fun collabing with everybody. If you haven't checked out Nux's video of this collab, make sure you do that. As well as give every wonderful VTuber and Evan a follow. They all make amazing content. And I hope I can collab with them again in the future. I'd like to give a special shout out to my editors and all of my wonderful Patreons because without your help, I wouldn't be able to make these wonderful videos come to life. And if you like, don't forget to leave a comment and let me know on who you would like to see me collab with next time. Who knows, maybe somebody you mentioned might actually get involved in the video. All right, that's it for now. Until we meet again next time, all right? To be continued, bye everybody.